All right. Hi, this is Sean Murray with the Halloween Theater. I'm here with my brother Adam. How y'all doing? Hello. Um, every week in our newsletter, uh, which you can subscribe to at HalloweenTheater.com, you we always uh, talk about SketchUp, or at least I do. The uh, SketchUp is one of the coolest tools I've found for developing and working on your haunt. This is one of the uh, models that we've worked on over the last uh, couple of years, and you'll notice the uh, the green walls are walls that uh, other people on our team have inserted and suggested and put in place and then uploaded to Google Wave for us to talk about and collaborate even though we all live 50 miles apart. So um, this has been a really useful tool and as if you're going to build an indoor haunt like we do then obviously the building block foundation is going to be your walls and so this is going to be a quick tutorial on getting started with your walls. Now if you would like to uh, download this particular model or any of our other models you can go to the 3d warehouse and there it is get models if you go in and type 5600 south that's the location of nightmare mansion which is uh, 5600 south and redwood road in utah these are some of the models we've used over the years and they are there for your amusement and uh, amusement you can uh, download these and play with them, um, use the components in your own models if you want to. Um, I think I've got the bear trap in here um, that we had a con contest last year, um, several other models that you'll be able to see. So you can download any of those. But if you want to build your own from scratch, that's what we're going to talk about. So we're going to go in here and create a new file. Okay. Um, in any model, the uh, this, the building block, as I said, was your wall. We use um, 5 8 OSB or plywood on a 2 by 4 frame, and so we're gonna, those are 4 by 8 sheets. We're going to draw a box. You can see I selected this box right here, which I don't know if I told you, there is the toolbar. You'll need your large tool set right there. Okay. That's where this one comes from. So select the, the rectangle box and draw a, a box, has, doesn't matter how big, because you're going to tell it how big. You type in the size, which is 4 feet, comma, 8 feet, enter, and now you've got a 4 by 8 surface. Now, you're going to give it some depth. This is the amazing part in SketchUp. Grab this little push-pull button right there, select that, and pick your surface and just give it some depth. Now it doesn't matter how much you uh, do because you're going to say how thick it is. Our walls happen to be three inches thick and so I'm going to type three inches, enter, and it creates a three inch thick box. Now SketchUp still thinks of this as lines and surfaces rather than solid. So we're going to select, use your select tool or you can just hit space bar, it does the same thing. Draw a box around your pieces select them all now right click and that is going to give you the option to make a component so uh, you select the component and we're going to call this wall there we go so now we now have a wall laying on the floor if you would like to leave it on the floor that's great but your haunt's going to be kind of boring so we're going to orbit hit o orbit around so you can see it a little bit better and zoom in a little bit tighter and we need to stand this wall up so we're going to rotate it. In order to rotate you hit Q and that rotates or you can go to the rotate box um, over in the toolbar which is right there. Okay, does the same thing. You'll notice that it gives you three different colors um, blue, red, or green. I'm not going to get around to the green side. Um, depending on what, what uh, axis you want to rotate on. We're going to rotate on the red axis. So you pick a point. This is your, your axis. See the little purple dot? That's the point that it's going to rotate. Select that and draw the point you want it to lift from. So the second purple dot you're going to lift from. And now you've got a pivot point. You can put it anywhere you like. We want to stand it up straight. So 90 degrees. Look in the bottom right hand corner and you see that it says 90 degrees. Or you can just type 90 and it'll do the same thing. Again, we're going to O, orbit go around this and 
zoom extents so you can see the whole thing. Now we can move. Um, by the way, you can get rid of this guy if, you, if he bugs you. He goes away. Um, so you can move anywhere you want uh, by using H for hand and then move your wall. Space bar. Select the wall you want to move. There we go. M to move and select the point, click and move. Now you'll see that I'm moving it along the red axis. Now down below you see that it says toggle copy is control. So if I hit control it makes a copy of that wall. We know that the walls are four feet wide and so I want to move the second wall four feet away. So down in the right hand corner you'll see if I'm going to type four feet, enter, it moved it four feet. Now if I want multiple walls I can say how many I want. Say I want six times six X enter gives me six walls. There you go. Okay, there's the starting point. We've now got walls. Uh, we'll do another one here, show how to rotate those walls and move them. Uh, start drawing halls. Uh, so we'll just grow from there. Again, this is Sean and Adam. <laughs> that was Adam. Uh, with HalloweenTheater.com. Go, again, go to our website. Our email address is on there if you have any questions. And uh, we hope to help you any way we can. Thanks. Bye-bye.